Amplitronic. Listen to the difference. A hearing loop system can make a big difference to hearing aid users and help them to hear high quality sound without unwanted background noise, but only if it's turned on and adjusted correctly. You can either use a hearing loop tester or our Loopworks Measure app to carry out simple, regular staff checks. The procedure for using the Ampatronic ILR3 Plus is very quick and easy to perform and should be carried out often to ensure the best possible performance of your system. Remember, hearing loops are inaudible, unless you have hearing aid, so it's not obvious when something is wrong. Before you start, identify the hearing loop amplifier and ensure it's turned on. If it's a service point loop, the amplifier will likely be located underneath the desk or on the bulkhead that separates the client from the staff. If it's an area coverage loop for a room, the amplifier will either be mounted on a wall or in an AV rack, which could be in a different room. Look for indications of power LED symbol or the other indication that the power is on. On your Ampatronic ILR3 Plus loop receiver, turn the volume down to zero. Set the low cut filter button to be out. Put the headphones on and insert the jack plug into the socket on the top of the ILR3 Plus. This will turn the ILR3 Plus on. Check the power indicator is lit. If not, then the batteries need replacing. Ensure the loop system has normal sound entering the system. You may need someone to speak at the typical position of the talker into the hearing loop microphone so that the loop system receives sound as it would in normal use. Turn up the ILR3 Plus volume control to halfway. You should clearly hear the sound from the induction loop system. You are now set to follow the loop system checking procedure. Hold the ILR3 Plus in a position where the user's ear would normally be, seated or standing. The ILR3 Plus must be held vertically with the indicator lights facing the ceiling. Hold the ILR3 Plus in the hand. Do not place on any surface or structure. Ensure sounds are on and are continuous and you can hear them through the headphones. If the sound is clear, easy to understand with a comfortable volume, it's a pass. If the sound is distorted or muffled, hard to understand and inaudible, it's a fail and you should report what you can hear. Again, ensure sounds are on and are continuous. Whilst the sounds are active, watch the two indicators and compare them to the label on the back of the ILR3 Plus. If you see yellow on constantly or yellow and green indicators, both flickering, it's a pass. If green is on constantly, it's a fail. Report signal as too high. If the yellow indicator is only occasionally on or both lights or off it's a fail. Report the signal as too low. Ensure you watch and listen for at least 60 seconds to get an accurate indication of field strength. Make sure you keep the ILR3 Plus vertical at all times. Amplitronic. Listen to the difference.